Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how you can find the best mouse and keyboard for your own gameplay and setup. I talked about this a little in my video on tips for switching from controller to keyboard and mouse. That video got some good feedback, so I not only wanted to dive further into it, but also not many of you guys saw it since it was directed at new keyboard and mouse players. By the end of this video, you'll hopefully learn about the differences between different gaming mice and keyboards, why pros use certain mice and keyboards over others, and lastly pick out your own optimal mouse and keyboard. I'll break the video up into three or so different sections and put timestamps on the screen now for each of those. Feel free to skip around to whichever part you please, but if you really want to be an alpha gamer with the best possible setup, watch the whole video through until the end. So let's start off with the benefits of finding the best or most optimal mouse and keyboard for you specifically. Obviously, there is no best mouse and keyboard for everybody. Every mouse and keyboard company will tell you that their product is better than the competition, which may be true in some aspects, but overall, there's no certain mouse or keyboard that is better for absolutely everyone. In terms of Fortnite and most other games, your mouse is much more important than your keyboard is for your gameplay, which is why a majority of this video will focus on showing you how to find the best mouse for your specific hand size, grip style, and setup. Your keyboard is still very important for just freeing up room on your desk and just being comfortable with the sound and feel of your keys, but having a good mouse can really improve your Fortnite gameplay. Some of you guys probably have really heavy mice, and if you were to switch to a lighter mouse, your aim would improve, your building would be smoother, and your editing would be much faster. Some of you are probably slowed down by your mouse cable, and you'd be much better off with a wireless mouse. Some of you might even be using a mouse that's not good for your grip style and is actually hurting your wrist and hand, and you may not even realize it's the mouse's fault. A new mouse won't automatically turn you into a god or make your aim as good as Tfue's, but the sheer amount of customization and perks on certain gaming mice make upgrading worth it. Some of these customizations include better grip and ergonomics, additional buttons aka your mouse side buttons, DPI switches, and custom gaming softwares. These are just a few of the main benefits of a good mouse compared to using a random old mouse from the 90s. Mouse sensors and technology that tracks your cursor and crosshair is also really improving, especially for wireless mice, and it's really setting apart good mice from bad ones. This is why we see basically every player with some sort of Logitech or Final Mouse or Zowie Mouse. The hard part is finding what mouse is optimal and works best for you though. Now we can get into how I recommend finding the perfect mouse. The way we'll go about this process is by first seeing what grip style you have and the size of your hand, and then we'll get into what to look for within mice that actually fit your hand. I'll also talk about popular mice that are common among pro players and my personal experience with all the mice that I've used and tried out. The first thing you want to do is measure your hand. So literally take out a ruler or a tape measurer and start at the bottom of your palm and measure up to the tip of your middle finger. Then write down the number of inches it is or centimeters if you're not a dumb American like me. If your hand measures from 14 to a little under 17 centimeters, which is 5.5 to 6.6 .6 inches, then we're going to classify it as small. If your hand measures from 17 centimeters to 19.5 centimeters, or 6.7 inches to 7.6 .6 inches, then it's medium sized. And anything larger than 19.5 centimeters or larger than 7.6 .6 inches will be a large hand. My hand from base to tip is 7.4 inches, so kind of on the upper range of medium sized, but nothing too huge. Measuring your hand will help refine what mice actually fit and feel comfortable given your hand size. If you have a large hand, you'll definitely feel uncomfortable using a small mouse and you'll either get cramps or be forced to change your grip style which will really mess up your aim. Your grip style is the next thing we want to look at to find the perfect mouse. A grip style is exactly what it sounds like. It's the specific way that you hold your mouse. Believe it or not, most people have different grip styles, but in general there are three main grip types, palm, fingertip, and claw. Palm grip is probably the most popular because your entire hand rests on your mouse. It's a very relaxed and ergonomic grip style where your entire palm and fingers rest and grip the mouse. Fingertip grip is also pretty self-explanatory, but it's the grip where only your fingertips make contact with the mouse. Your palm and most of your hand actually hovers in the air, so the only thing keeping a grip on the mouse are your fingertips on the side and on the top. Lastly, claw grip is sort of a hybrid between palm and fingertip. Part of your palm rests low down on your mouse while your fingers are arched, making your fingertips perpendicular to your mouse. You get grip from your fingertips and palm because your hand kind of makes a claw-like shape, hence the name claw grip. Now, there is no best grip style, it's literally what you're most comfortable with, so don't try to change it or ask around what's the best grip style, there is none. I've always used a claw grip, why? I literally have no idea, but it's just what I've always used and I've always been comfortable with since I started playing PC games. My brother has the same sized hand as me and he uses a palm grip, 
that's just what he prefers. Your grip may be some sort of hybrid between the three main grips, or it may be a variant of one. Like maybe you use a palm grip, but your pinky finger is raised, or something weird like that. Whatever the case may be, just do your best to identify what grip style you have, and for 99% of you, it shouldn't be too hard. With your grip style and hand size in mind, now we can start looking specifically at what mice suit your hands. If you don't know who Rocket Jump Ninja is, he's an amazing YouTuber that posts mouse reviews and pretty much anything you can think of gaming mice related. He also has a really helpful website, which I'll leave a link to in the description, but if you go there and you go to the find a mouse page and click on the specific hand size and grip style you have, he actually gives you a bunch of recommendations for mice along with reviews of them. When I clicked on medium sized hand and claw grip style, the G Pro Wireless actually came up, which is the mouse that I currently use and love. Once you have a bunch of mice recommended to you, you want to think about what you're specifically looking for in the mouse if you're going to use it for Fortnite. For example, there's a few different classifications of mice. There's the typical FPS mouse, which have the typical ergonomic design and two mouse side buttons. These are what a majority of pro players use, but it may not be perfect for you if you're looking for more side buttons. For more mouse side buttons, there's MOBA mice, which get their name because they were used a lot in popular MOBA games like League of Legends. These mice have anywhere from like 6 to 12 mouse side buttons, so they're really useful for MOBAs where you have a ton of abilities but you don't always need to use them. In Fortnite, they're also pretty useful, but not as common. Some players that use them though are like Daquan, Zill, and Mitro, who I think all used them at one point. I'm not sure if they're still on them, but I know at least Daquan is. They're not as popular as FPS mice in Fortnite, but for those of you who are looking for a ton of side buttons, then these are the way to go. Lastly are ambidextrous mice like the Logitech G Pro Wireless that I love and use. Most mice are catered for right-handed people, so the grip and the shape of the mouse isn't really suitable for you if you're a lefty. Ambidextrous mice are basically FPS mice, but they have a uniform shape, so they can be used by righties and lefties, which is pretty cool. The G Pro Wireless even has side buttons that you can put in and take out on both sides, depending on what you prefer. So if you're a lefty, you definitely want to look into an ambidextrous mouse. The only downside is that they're usually a bit more expensive. You should also look at wired versus wireless mice if you don't like your mouse cord and you have never used a wireless mouse before. Once you go wireless, boys, you never go back. I originally used a Logitech G403, which was a really good and cheap mouse. Then I switched over to the G703, which is the wireless version of the G403. And now I'm on the G Pro Wireless because I felt the G703 was a little too heavy for me. Weight is also a very important factor in choosing your mouse. If you're using something like a G502, which is 121 grams, you'll probably find it a lot easier to use a lighter mouse as you don't need as much force on your arm. That's why all the final mouse are so popular and hyped up in the Fortnite community. The Ninja final mouse was 58 grams, which is crazy light. The G Pro Wireless is 80 grams, but it feels a little lighter than that because it's wireless. Anything below 80 grams you could call light. Then from like 80 to 110 grams would be a normal weight for a mouse, and anything above 110 grams would be heavy for most gamers. The last thing you want to look at, of course, is the price tag. As great as the G Pro Wireless is, it's really expensive at $150. So if that would break the bank for you, you're probably better off with a $30 G403 instead. If you do find a good mouse online, go and try it out in store, or just look up reviews on it, and see if any of your favorite pro players use it. The most popular mice within the Fortnite community are the G Pro Wireless, the G403, pretty much any final mouse, the Zowie Divina, and I bet the Glorious Model O will be pretty popular after it's released. Overall, consider all these factors after measuring your hand and figuring out your grip style to find the best mouse for yourself. Lastly, we'll talk about how to find the perfect keyboard. Like I said before, there's not any huge differences between keyboards that make some better than others. Most of it is just preference. I do recommend though that you get a mechanical keyboard instead of that mushy membrane crap. A good mechanical keyboard will last longer and just feel way better while spamming keybinds. I bet if you're using a membrane keyboard now, your building would improve a lot with a mechanical keyboard just based on the better switches alone. The differences between mechanical keyboards are size and switches. There are full-size keyboards, which are the standard ones you see, then there are TKL or 10 keyless, which don't have the number pad, and then there are 75% keyboards, which aren't as common, but they retain most of the TKL keys in a little compact form, and then finally there are 60% keyboards, which are very popular within the Fortnite community. 60% keyboards like the Ducky 1-2 Mini and the Antu Pro don't have the F keys in the top or any of the arrow keys or stuff like that. The benefit of a smaller keyboard is that you'll have more room on your desk and therefore more room for a bigger mouse pad and mouse space. I started with a Logitech G610, which was a full-sized keyboard, and now I have a Ducky 1-2 Mini, and I just love how much smaller the 60% is, especially because my desk is really small. 
The other major difference or customization for keyboards are the switches for your keys. The switch is the mechanism underneath the key that is activated when you press down on the key. There are a ton of different switches like reds, blues, browns, silvers, and so many more. There's no benefits of one type of switch over another. The differences are in sound, response, and travel time, which pretty much all come down to preference. You can buy a switchboard online to try out different switches and see how they feel and sound. There's also a ton of videos all over YouTube that compare different switches and the sound of them and the feel of them. I had Cherry MX Reds in my first keyboard and now I have Cherry MX Silvers in my Ducky. The difference from going from Reds to Silvers in terms of my gameplay was pretty minimal, but the Silvers definitely have a different sound and feel to them which I prefer over the Reds. Overall though, this video should definitely help you guys find your perfect mouse and keyboard. Remember to only use what you like and what you're comfortable with. Don't use a certain peripheral because your favorite streamer does. Just follow my guidelines for choosing mouse and keyboards and you'll find the perfect one for yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Thank you to everyone using my code and supporting me day in and day out. I truly can't thank you guys enough. Otherwise, that's it from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Thank you.